What's going on guys? Welcome back to Season 1, Episode 13 of my FM Save of Everton. Today we've got another three games for you. We've got Norwich at home, Arsenal away and then Newcastle at home. We're looking to get around about 6 points this episode. The last two episodes haven't been great. Especially the last one, we lost to Southampton and lost to Chelsea. We need to start picking up points because slowly we're moving down the table. I'll show you what the lead table is looking like. So in the lead table, we're 8th place. We win this game against Norwich. We can go back above Wolves into 7th place. Um, Arsenal and Tottenham are running away a little bit, so we've got to keep an eye out for them. Um, Desire's up in 2nd place, going strong. Hopefully we can have a good episode. A lot better than last one. Right, this is the team we've gone with. We've gone with Pickford in goal, Digne left back with Holgate and Keane centre back. Kahira has come back in at right back. I felt he wasn't strong down that side the last couple of games when he hasn't played. Uh, Snydlin and CDM with Delph and Gomez in midfield. Delph's back from his injury, his first game. On the left we got Almada. Up top we got Giroud and on the right hand side we got Walcott. So it's still not the strongest team possible because obviously Keane's suspended. I thought he was back this game, he's not. He's suspended for one more game. He got a four match ban. And Richarlison's injured, and obviously we loaned out Awobi and Calvert Lewin, which might have not been the best decision. Norwich have gone with a very good team, which is Tim Crawley in goal, Lewis left back, Godfrey and Zimmerman centre back with Aaron on the right hand side of the defence, Rupp and Tribal in the midfield with Duda just in front, Cantwell on the left, Bundy on the right, and Puki up top. If you guys remember what happened last time against Norwich, you'll know how desperate I am for this win. It's a good start from us. Great ball by Snyderling. Go on, Digne. Giroud's not in the box. Giroud, make it. Go on, Digne. Beat him again. Digne. Lovely. Walcott. Oh, oh, what a save by Crawl. Good start from us. That's within 40 seconds. He's done He's done too much on it, but we've gotten away with it. Snydlin now. Gomez. Theo Walcott. Go on, Theo. Go on, Theo. Please hit that. Theo. Yes. Theo Walcott. Thank God. Thank God. In Theo, we trust. He's hit it. And Tim Crawl, who we couldn't beat last time, has slapped that into his own net. Andre Gomez with the assist. Phil Walker with the goal. We move up to 7th place. Come on, boys. Norwich have got a free kick now. Duda. It's over the wall. Oh. We've literally just conceded straight away. Whose man was that? I've literally just went from being so happy to just disappointed. Um, Duda's free kick went over the wall. And I think it's hit the crossbar or Pickford saved it. And yeah, Pickford saved it and Zimmerman, the centre back, just got there in front of all of our boys. That's poor from us. Poor marking. It's 1 1. What a ball. Cantwell's in now. Norwich to make it 2 1. Cantwell. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to fly in. What's he got to offer? Beating 1. Great ball for Digne. Giroud, make the box, Giroud. Digne, get across in. To Thiago. Give it to Giroud. Oh, back to Digne. Giroud! What a save by Tim Crawl. I can't deal with this guy. Oh, he's offside anyway. Looks like we're going half time draw on 1 1. It's not good enough. Great tackle there from Digne. It's gone to Puki and it's gone back to Bundia. And Bundia is he going to make it 2 1. What a save by Pickford. I think we'll have to bring Bernardo on this left hand side. Take off uh, Thiago Amada. He's not doing anything. Hasn't done anything since he's been here. Can Digne get something from this cross now? Come on, Digne. Get this on Keane's head or Holgate. Decent. Go on, Giroud. Or Giroud's head. Giroud. Aaron's. Delph. Yes. Oh, what is Aaron's doing? But it's 2 1. Fabian Delph on his first game back. Digne's got the assist. I don't know how Digne's got the assist. It would have been Giroud or no assist. Aaron's messed around with it. It's 2 1. Good delivery by Digne there. And Giroud wins the header. And Aaron's is just messing around. Should let his keeper have it. And Delph's got there and said, nah, give me that. We want our Europa League for next year. 2 1. What's happened here? We've got free kick again. Digne's got to shoot, hasn't he? Digne shoots. Cruel saved it and it's gone out for a corner. Cruel, you could have just moved over and caught that, but he wants to make it look good for the cameras. Come in, yeah, get us a nice delivery in. There you are. Get up, Giroud. Giroud! Oh, Giroud, that is your chance. You prefer your head over your left foot and then you do that. Right, we made our first change. On is coming Bernard on this left hand side and off is going Thiago Amada. We've got 10 minutes now. Come on, boys, got to hold on. I'm going to tell the boys to tighten up. Right, we've got Fran here. Throw it down the line. No, Kahira. Throw it down the line. Jesus Christ, Kahira. Keen, well done. Right, Pickford, what are you going to do now? Nothing silly, please. There you are. Good ball. Holgate, nice little turn. Lovely from Holgate to Bernard. Come, Bernard. Get some ground for us. Now give it. Now give it on the left hand side, Bernard. Snydlin will. Lovely from Snydlin. Digne, hit it. Go on, Digne. Digne cuts on his right foot for some reason. Gives it to Bernard. Bernard, back to Digne. To Tom Davis. Got a score. 3 1. Game over. Love it. 
Love it from the boys. What a win. Tom Davis has come off the bench and scored his fourth goal this season. Digne has got another assist. And it's 3-1 and we've won this game. I'm so happy. We needed to win this game for two reasons. One, we owed Norwich what they've done to us last time. And two, we were falling behind. We ain't won in ages and Wolves. We moved into eighth place. We was fifth at once. But this will keep us in seventh place, which is lovely. Unlucky, Tim Krull. Head up. Going to make our third and final change. We're going to take off Digne just to protect him. He's got two assists today. He's played very well. And we're bringing on Leighton Baines. Got two minutes left anyway, so it should be game over. I don't want to see any more clips. Now the ref blows the whistle. That's right. 3-1 win at home. It's a lovely result. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, possession, we didn't do too well in. But I don't really care. It's a win. And it's three points. So that's how the table's looking. We're in seventh place now. Wolves are one point behind us in eighth. In front of us, Tottenham and Arsenal have both played 29 games. But Arsenal are three points ahead and Spurs are two points ahead. So hopefully they both lose and we're still in reaching distance to them. Jazar's going to his Champions League game against Porto. He drew 2-2 at their ground. And, uh, well, his assistant manager drew 2-2. Jazar let him take it. But, yeah, he'll get the win, hopefully. What's the game? Josiah's just beaten Porto 4-2 on the day. So, 6-4 on aggregate. And Jorginho scored three goals. And that's two penalties. So, he's through to the next round. Well done to him. Just had a look at Jorginho because he just got a hatchet there. He scored 16 goals this year for Josiah from CDM. And that's nine of them in the league. It's not bad for CDM, is it? Guys, Wolves have just beaten Norwich 3-2. So, that pushes Wolves above us. They're going to 6th, Tottenham drop down to 7th, we drop down to 8th. We have got a game in hand on them, but the game in hand is against Arsenal, so it's going to be very difficult. But have a look at this for games on Sunday. Arsenal got Everton, and Tottenham got Man United. So, the ideal results from this game is us to beat Arsenal, and then Tottenham to draw against Man United. That would be lovely. Or do you know what? Our aim isn't top 4, our aim is top 7, top 6. So, Man United to beat Tottenham. And then us to beat Arsenal. That would be so good. Josiah did win his FA Cup game against West Brom. It did take him until extra time. I think Calvert-Lewin must have been playing. He didn't score. Right. This is the team we've gone with. We've gone with Pickford in goal. Dinier left back with Holgate and Keane. Uh, Kahira right back with Snydlin in CDM with Delph and Gomez just in front. On the left, we've got Mosey Keane. Up top, we've got Giroud. And on the right-hand side, we've got Phil Walcott. Right, Mosey Keane was we'll play him on the left wing, similar to like what Walcott's doing, probably about here. But he was only two star. So if I play him on the left side of forward, kind of attacking, give him the license to go forward and not come back, he's a three star or three and a half star. Giroud's starting up front. I could have went Bernard, but Bernard's been playing so bad recently. Um Giroud didn't have too much of a bad game last game. Arsenal gone with a four two three one, which is Leno, Tierney, Luis, Chambers and Bellerin at the back. Uh, Danny Celebos and Torreira CD CDM with Ozil just in front Saka on the left Lacazette on the right and Aubameyang up top so the first 15 minutes we'll see if we can get away with the two up top if not we'll have to move Mosey Keane on that left hand side Siru against his former team as well it's all tactical I mean, he's going to get a goal mark my words Dinier with a cross now can Giroud get his head on it decent delivery Giroud oh my god I thought that was it. Almost le leapt out my seat. Corner ball from it anyway. Can we get something from it? Walcott swings it in. Giroud's got to be scoring that. Arsenal got another chance now. What is our wall doing? No idea what our wall is doing. Say boss now. He's going to beat his man. No, he goes back to Saka. Saka shoots and he goes wide. That's pathetic from whoever was in the wall. Not to go with the man there. Oh dear. Tierney's on it now. Tierney punts the ball forward. Aubameyang's one on one. He's got to slot this. No, he's not. What a save. We are just... Throwing our chances away. We've got so many chances to counter-attack or to, to hit the target. And we're just doing silly things. Arsenal got the corner ball now. Saka's got to take it. Saka's on everything. Right, that's the formation we're going to go with for the second half. Delft's a one-star in, in this formation. Walker's a two. It doesn't matter. We're going to bring Bernard on soon anyway. But it's going to be a 4-4-2. I feel like if we can get Giroud holding it up and winning the flick-ons, Mosey Keane's going to be in them behind. I'm going to tell him to keep going long to Giroud. Um, one chance he's got to work for us, trust me. Hopefully they don't, they don't score two or three before. There you are. He's giving him a snake. Go on, Keane. Should we punt that for Keane? Great ball for Gomez. Gomez, give it, please. Gomez, please give it. Gomez, what's he doing? He has given it. Mosey Keane. Hit it, Keane. Great tackle. Walcott. Keane. Walcott. Oh, Keane's, oh, Keane's not sharp at all. 
Right, that's the formation we're going with. Still a 4-4-2, but the wingers have gone to wingers rather than right and left midfielders. Uh, it's Bernard on and it's Delph off. Bellerin on the ball. Dinier, that's a great, great tackle. Lino's got his flag up for some reason. Ref, Lino's got his flag up. Kahira gets a challenge. It's not good enough. Lino had his flag up for offside there and he's played on. They're not going to score from this. Away. Oh my goodness. Ref, what are you doing? So our second change now. Snyderlin's going to go off and Oni's coming to Nali. A nil-nil wouldn't be the worst result, guys. Well, we've swapped formation. We've gone to a 4-2-3-1. Thiago Amada's coming on his favourite position. Cam, Giroud's going off. So that would be Moses Keane up top on his own. Arsenal been all over us. I don't know if we should hold out. Yeah, do you know what? We're going to go cautious. Try to hit them on the counter. We're going to have one more chance in this game, but so are they. Arsenal got their chance now. Urza's going to swing this in the box. Head away, please, boys. It's a great head away by Keane. Well done, Keane. Walcott's running with it. They've got to take the yellow. Better let them take you out, Walcott. Walcott, give it. Walcott. Oh my god, it's gone to Mosey Keane. Mosey Keane, please finish that. Bellerin's chasing him. Mosey Keane. Keane to win the game. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Mosey Keane's back. Phil Walcott, rotter run. Do you know what? Remind me, Michael Keane is getting an extra 5k. When he wants his new contract, he's getting an extra 5k. Look at that. Walcott never gave it. And look at this on Mosey Keane. He runs Bellerin so quick. He does him with a little bit of skill. Cuts on the right foot and puts it in the bottom corner. We might have just got a smash and grab. Let me change this formation. Everyone's getting at the back. This is my favourite button, guys. This time wasting one. I love it. Hit that one. I'll show you the formation we're going with. We're going with that. It's a 4 1 4. 4 1 4 1. So 4 5 1. We're going to waste as much time as possible. And we need to go into very defensive as well. This is what you call a smash and grab. Tottenham are 2 1 against. Uh, 2 1 up against Man United. Hopefully, Man United can get a last minute goal. Can we keep the ball? Just go back to the keeper. Just keep it, Kahira. Lovely stuff. We've done the double over Arsenal. It's Arsenal nil, Everton 1. We're back to winning way, guys. If I could say to the boys, boys, take tomorrow off. Go have a beer. I would, but I can't. Spurs beat Man United 2-1, but that result does not matter one bit. We beat Arsenal 1-0. Mosey Keane is back with a bang. So we're in 7th place now. Above Wolves by a point. Arsenal got a game in hand, but we're in the same amount of points as them. Um, same with Spurs, they got a game in hand but they're two points ahead of us so let's say Spurs and Arsenal do win their games Arsenal will be three points ahead of us and Spurs will be five points ahead of us which we've got loads of games left, don't worry about it we will catch one of them we need to get Wolves off our tail first Everton fine for ill discipline for the amount of yellow cards we had against Arsenal six, I don't care I don't care one bit here comes the monthly manager performance want a B- minus again um, I think we've stayed in the B- minus for quite a while well, I'll say the things they're not happy with. Uh, they're not happy with Bernard's recent performance. Either am I. Either are you guys. Uh, not happy with our 1-0 defeat to Southampton. And they're also not happy with a 3-1 loss to Josiah. But they're happy with our 1-0 win against Arsenal. And they're also happy with the finances involved in bringing in Tonali on loan. And also the level of support in the squad. See if we've got any A's. We've got an A- minus with um, the breakdown with the squad. So the, the board are pleased to see that you have a strong backing and support from my players lovely stuff Mosey Keane won young player of the month he only played one game remember he's suspended for four played one game got one goal got a uh, young player of the month so well done to him right guys just quickly this is the team we've gone with we've gone with Pickford in goal Dinier left back with Holgate Keane and Kahira right back Snydlin CDM with Delft just in front with the captain's armband and next to him we've got Gomez on the right we got Walcott, left we got Bernard and up top is our main man Mosey Keane. Newcastle gone with Depravgo in goal. They've got a back four of Rose, Lascelles, Scher and I can't see the right back. Um, in centre mid they got Almiron in the 10 with Shelby and Bentaleb just behind with Lazaro on the right, St Maximum on the left and Battery up top. Of course they can't play Awobi because he's, he's ineligible as he's on loan from us. Um, if I do sound a little bit different, it's because, again, the audio for this game messed up. So what I have to do is I'm doing a voiceover right now as I edit. So hopefully it's not too different and you guys still enjoy it. But it'll be literally just for this game. I'm trying to sort the problems out with it. Um, I think I figured it out. So in the next couple of episodes, you'll have no more voiceovers. So it'll be instant reaction from me. Right, Sound Maximum's running down his left hand side now. He's going to be their danger man. We need to stop him as much as we can. Oh my god, what a save. Battery has almost done me. What a save by Jordan Pickford there. Right, we've got a throw on his right back position now. 
Can Kihira keep the ball? It's a good throw. Goes to Gomez. Can Gomez get it back to him? Gomez, what are you doing, mate? Almiron's running with it now. Almiron, oh, we got away with that massively. Gomez needs to play it a lot earlier and a lot more simple because that could have been close. If that was a better player, that went flying in the back of the net. Oh, Shelby and Gomez rustling around with it, battling for the ball. Shelby comes out ahead. Almiron now. He's giving too much space to Almiron. Shoots again. Oh, my goodness. That was a weird shot. At first, I thought it was going wide, but that crept closer to the goal. The Brav club with a goal kick. Goes to Phil Walcott. Well played from Theo. He's on his toes. He beat St. Maximum to it. Go on, Theo. Beat him. It's a lovely knock from Theo Walcott. Does anyone get there? Mosey Keane! What a save by the Brav car. Mosey Keane almost a goal in his return. Even though I'm doing the voiceover in this, it's still good because I generally don't remember the score in this game. Alright, we've just gone into half time. It's 0 0 at the moment. Man City and Tottenham are drawing 0 0. And Josiah's beating Brighton 3 0. It's not the worst result at half time, but it could be a lot better. Right, the first change of the day and of the half is um, Tom Davis is coming on and off is going Gomez. Right, Dinia's going to get a cross in. Lovely enough from Dinia. Walker got a score. Oh my god, it's off the crossbar. Has the, oh, the Bravka. Oh, it's offside. I thought the Bravka pushed it onto the crossbar. Oh my goodness. He's gone the whole way and Pickford is the main man. Go on, go on, Davis. Go on, Davis. Give it, Davis. Give it. What a ball. Go on, Mosey Keane. Beat him. Ah, Mosey, one more touch. Just like that Arsenal game. Could have taken a touch and binned it. Right, I'm going to make a substitution. I'm going to bring on Coleman down his right hand side. Move him to support. And then I'm going to take off Gehira because I feel like we need to push up a little bit more. Maybe being too defensive at home to Newcastle. Right, didn't you? Get across in. Keane. Go on. Hit Keane. The other Keane. Man, why ref giving a foul for that? Our most keen's offside. We're offside. Every good chance we get, we're offside. Great tackle from Coleman there. Is that like Danny Rose? Get off the ball. What's Keen um, Walcott doing? I don't know how Walcott's done that, but it's lovely. Go on, Bernard. What a lovely play from us. Go on, Keen. Win it for us. Keen. Keen. Oh, man. I think that might be it. 10 minutes left, and we're just looking for that last goal. Need a goal. Surely now, if we, surely if we score now, it's going to be a winner. Either side. Eight minutes to go. I'm pushing everyone forward. Very attacking. Go on, Davis. Lovely ball by Davis. Walcott. Ref! Have we won a penalty? St. Maximum's push for Walcott. Mosey Keane to take the penalty. Surely to win it in the 83rd minute. Come on, Mosey Keane. Win the game for us. Come on, Keane. Come on, Keane. Was he keen? Oh, yes! Yes, thought the keeper saved it, but no he didn't. It's 1-0 to Everton. Get in there, Mosey Keane. He's back for his 14th goal of the season. Love it. We've missed him so much in the last episode, him and Richarlison. But Keane's come back and it's the Mosey Keane show. This is the sharp shot formation. We've gone with a 4-1-4-1. The wingers are going to be defensive. Um, we're going to be very defensive, wasting time, everything got two minutes left this could be a massive result if we can keep this Pickford keep the ball come on Pickers keep the ball lovely stuff to the Holgate don't get caught out Holgate that's a delicious ball to Bernard Bernard now to Davis are we going to go get another goal what a ball from Davis to Digne Digne what are you doing so attacking I told you to defend only get across in go on Walcott space and hit it Snydlin hit it oh Snydlin keep it down just to the edge of the box what a ball Danny Rose no no Oh my god, what defending. I don't know who's got the block in there, but I love you. Snidlin, you egg. St. Maximum's running. Someone take the yellow, take the red, just boot him. Snidlin, you will not do this to me. Get a challenge in. Michael Keane, Sir Michael Keane, thank you very much. Walcott, get rid of it or do a run. Love you, Walcott, love it from you. What a ball by Walcott. Ah, he's not going to get there, Mosey Keane. That's good. Save your energy. Literally a minute and a half left now. And we've got another win and the perfect episode. We've been waiting for this episode to get three wins out of three. And we have finally done it, hopefully. Alright, we've got a matter of seconds left now. Surely the game's going to be over. Coleman, throw that down the line. Coleman, why would you throw it there? Kira, get rid. Alright, good, good stuff. Goes back to the keeper. Pickford's going to lump this up the pitch and that should be it. And that is a win. Mosey Keane. What a hero. It's a 1-0 win. And that just pushes us up further up the table. This is what the table's looking like. We are in fifth place, 
32 games played, 56 points. Um, Wolves are three points away from us, played the same amount of games. With Tottenham and Arsenal, we played one more game than them, but we are two points ahead of Spurs and three points ahead of Arsenal. Right, guys, so beat Norwich 3 1, lovely game. Arsenal 1 0, that's probably my highlight of the episode. And then we beat Newcastle 1 0 as well. Um, next episode, what an episode! I don't even know what to call this one. It's the, it's the episodes of all episodes. We got Tottenham away, then Wolves at home, and then Aston Villa at home. It's the Tottenham and Wolves game that are important to us. You've got to be beating them. I'm looking for about nine points. Do you know what? I'll say seven points on that episode because. We know what Tottenham and Wolves are like. We need to get them off our tail. If we beat them, I reckon... If we beat them both, I reckon we'll finish above them both. And then we need to worry about Arsenal, who we've just beat. But guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the, the video, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and leave me a comment of where you think we'll finish. And I'll catch you guys soon.